Yo, NCCP, this is Pastor John. Hi, I'm Pastor Melissa, and this is this week's Yo, NCCP. Yeah, so it's a beautiful weekend, and we're excited to be able to uh, get outside and enjoy some fresh air. Before we get started with some a couple of announcements about this weekend's worship, we want to make sure that we draw the winner for our online check-in charity giveaway. And so I'm going to draw a number. This week's winning number is 316. So number 316, who checked in on worship? Is Jane Drzinski. So Congratulations, Ms. Jane. Miss Jane is the winner. How about that? And so we'll connect with her and find out what charity she wants to donate to. So be sure when you go online, beginning tonight, beginning right now, you can go to nccpumc.com and find our worship service for November. For November. What day is it anyway? For May 17th. And be sure to check your attendance. It's really helpful. Um, this week, we have a couple of new ways that you can worship with us. Preferably, if you're watching us online right now, keep watching us online. That is the safest way to see and be part of worship. We know right now, even still, even if it's gorgeous outside, we are all still safer at in the vicinity of our homes. However, we do have a couple of other ways to connect this week, especially for people who don't have the best internet connection, who, who aren't able to really access us online. And that is, first of all, our tailgate worship service. So yeah, so at all three of our locations, um, at the beginning at 9 a.m. at our St. John's, 9.45 at our Green Mount, 10.30 at Grace, 11.15 back at St. John's, um, if you feel so inclined and you feel like you can do it safely, you're allowed to bring your car to the parking lot. You'll be able to hear from your car or you can get out and sit on your tailgate if you have a truck. Oh, I want a truck so badly. <laughs> I almost bought one just for this week. I know. I, we're very um, tempted to. Or if you're sure that you can, if you don't have a tailgate and you think you'll hear better getting out of your car and you bring your own chair and sit right in front of your car, um, you can do that. You won't be able to mingle or walk around or anything like that. You got to stay safely at your own car. We have parking lot attendants at all three locations. That's right. And you have to listen to your attendant. They will tell you where you can park. When a parking lot is at capacity, based on how many people we've determined can park there, and every other and, spot, and socially distance safely, um, if it if it happens to fill up, we're going to send you to the next parking lot for the next service, on down the line until we we have had everybody who wants to come accommodated for worship. But again, this is it, it's kind of like no strikes. This is like when you're there. Stay in your spot, wave and say hello to folks, but, but we're really trying to maintain safe social distancing when we come together. Also, another way that you're able to hear the sermon this week, and, and please share this with those of our brothers and sisters who are not online, um, we have a new local phone number that people can call and hear the sermon. So you could even uh, listen to it in your car while you're driving, <laughs> while you're in your car, while you're waiting for tailgate worship, because those services are not going to have a full sermon, but you are going to be able to access that other ways. Yeah, and so basically, just to be clear, because uh, we're we've purchased that phone system and we have a limited amount of minutes, we can expand that for more money later if we see that it's useful to a lot of people. Uh, but that's just the sermon. And also, if you're watching this, it's really not for you because you can access our sermon on our website uh, or YouTube directly. Uh, but you can help us spread that word to others. We'll send out some postcards next week. And so especially if in your hub, you know you have some friends in there who are not online, who you've been sending cards in the mail to or calling to check in with. When you're speaking to them, let them know that they have this as an option to be able to hear the sermon. And so with this weekend, this again is a kind of like a trial run for the outdoor tailgate worship. We said as soon as the governor and our bishop allowed, we would be willing to meet you in our parking lot. And so we're doing that. This looks like it's going to be the safest option other than staying home uh, for a long time. Yeah. And so in order to do that, we got to really space out in the parking lot. I don't mean not pay attention, but I mean like socially <laughs> distance. And uh, it'll be a brief service. 
some music either live or or playing what has been uploaded to our website the scripture leading will reading will be there and some prayer and a real brief reflection but again we want everyone to be safe so if you don't feel comfortable coming to the physical church and to the parking lot don't feel like you're being left out please don't feel like you're being pressured we want everyone to do whatever they feel safest doing based on their personal health and other other circumstances. And I know this is a long YONCCP, but we're really just trying to emphasize because because you won't miss anything other than yelling across the parking lot, maybe to a friend. Uh, in fact, you'll get more online if you have access to That's that. Right. But we know that for some people, just the physical act of getting up and getting dressed and going to church on Sunday morning has a lot of meaning. And a lot of our folks have been very isolated. So if you fall into that category and you just need to be around people, like we'll Pastor John's an extrovert. He needs to be around other people. I'm an introvert, so I'm like, I can just watch online and be there. So we know that everybody has different ways that, that they are coping with this and we want to do whatever's healthiest for all of our, all of you our, in our faith family. And all of it is a valid way to worship. And so we look forward to connecting with you. No matter how you do it, we will be there. The last thing I want to say is that we have been doing a 10-day prayer challenge. Um, beginning on the National Day of Prayer, we've had a, a prayer posted in the hubs every single day, and tomorrow is the last day. So if you have missed any of those, please log log on to your Google Classroom and see uh, what you would like, uh, and, and just connect with the prayers. And some of you, after last week's Yo and CCP, contacted Catherine to, to get an invitation resent to you or to find out what hub you were in. That's awesome. So do that again. If you don't, if you forgot or didn't see or didn't find in your promotions or trash email box, uh, be sure to reach out to Catherine and we'll make sure you're, you find out what hub you're, cause everybody's in a hub. You probably don't even know that you're supposed to be in a hub, but you are in a hub because it's not just for members. It's for everybody that's connected to, uh, or worshiping with us. That's right. So whether it's online, whether it's in person at the tailgate, whether it's via the telephone, Join us for worship, and we are thankful that you are part of NCCP. Amen.